be in any name. We give every glory and adoration, every exaltation. We come before thee this evening to present your truth to the whole world. That mankind may testify in time to come that it wasn't man that did it, that they had no strength of their own, they had no army, they had no weapons. All they had was the gospel of truth and of redemption. And behold, because their hearts and their minds we are clean, because the Almighty found them unblemished. That was why they were blessed, and everything they asked for came to pass. That why this same generation, this very IPO shall endure, for flesh cannot be mortalized, but the truth of the Most High, who is timeless, who is ageless, shall prevail. And upon that very promise do we pray this evening, because your words are yea and amen. People wonder, how come you love David so much? Man couldn't understand that David knew how to ask David for anything that he wants. There was nothing that David ever asked for that he didn't give to him. That same secret is what we have. That is what we present before thee to the hearing of the entirety of humanity this very evening, morning, noon or night, depending on where you're listening from. That we make this proclamation that your words are yea and amen. Because you are God, anything you say must come to pass. You are not man. Anytime, any word that you utter, documented by the sons of men, in the Torah, in the scriptures, must come to pass. Because your spirit, you are not man. You are not mortal. Every word you utter must come to pass. And on that very premise, do we anchor this very agitation. Because we go back to your scriptures, to your unadulterated, untampered with scriptures. In the book of Jeremiah we pray, chapter 16, verse 14, that is our prayer this very evening from where I am. You said, for you are Lord, you are God, you are the beginning and the end. There is nothing you created which can be equated nor used as an adjective to describe thee. You are bigger than all that man can ever imagine that you are. Only you is the beginning of time itself. That is why the ancients call you the ancient of days. The ancients of the ancients. For that is who you are. The I am that I am. And these are your words because you are God. You said that a time is coming according to the prophet jeremiah you said that the time is coming and that time is now this 2020 you said the time is coming when people will no longer swear by me as the living god who brought the house of israel out of bondage in Egypt. these are your words because you're god you said the time shall come when people will no longer swear that this god of Moses that led the God of Moshe that led the Israelites out of the bondage and suffering in Egypt. Instead, these are your words of heavenly Father. With every reverence, humility, and submission, you said, Instead, they will swear by me as the living God because you are living, everlasting, eternal, who brought his people out of the northern lands, out of the bondage from the north. For we inhabit the south. We are from the southeast. Oh, Heavenly Father, you said, no longer will we remember you as the God of miracles that brought Israelites out of Egypt. We shall not be as the God that delivered his children from the criminals and darkness from the north. These are your words. And you were talking about Biafra. We are now going to swear by thy name and say it is God of Biafra that led his children out of the iniquitous existence which Britain fabricated for your children. And you said we are going to return from where you scattered us, from where they are killing us in Indonesia, from where they are killing us in Malaysia 
from where we have been imprisoned in Brazil, from all the places we are suffering, all the places where we are being humiliated at the moment, you said, I will bring you back to your own country, to the land that I gave your ancestors, because I am God and I have spoken. And who is man to say no to the word of God? Or they can make Upon this, we anchor all that we do. We have no strength of our own upon your promise that came forth from the mouth of the prophet Jeremiah 16, 14. You said, I will deliver you from the bondage from the north. The world will no longer say, this God of Moshe that led the Israelites out of Egypt, they will say the God of Biafra that delivered them from the forces of darkness from the north. You were very specific, you said, from the north. And you are God, and may your name be blessed forever and ever. He said, he said, he said. <laughs> Hello, my wonderful people of Biafra. Good morning and good afternoon and good evening and good night to some of us, depending on your time zone. This is Maze Zume Zumwe Kwensu. Please, as I welcome you, please welcome others. It's very important. It's very, very important. As I do welcome you, please endeavor to welcome others. Share this program to your WhatsApp group, to your profile, to your page, and invite your friends. Maze Zumezu, Mr. Tim Bodembo is here with Ezo Kuchineke. Because my program is different. Because I am not here to chase crowd. But the truth can they tell you here. The truth can they tell you here. So please, as I welcome you, please welcome others. This is part two of what happened on 19th March 2024 about Mazen court case at Abuja. Please, as I, as I welcome you, please welcome others. We are live at our various platform. We are live at Ikechuku Omadi Izumezu. Please, if you are watching me from there, please hit the like button and share the program. Because metum law of Aka metum like like Aka because it's very important. We also live at Ikechuku Izumezu. Please share the program. We can't give up, no matter the the fight from Facebook, the enemy within. We can't give up. We can't give up because our message is getting to them. They are getting our message. They are getting our message. We're also live at our YouTube, BK Chuku Izumez. Honestly speaking, our YouTube is doing good. People are watching our program from there. Please follow me at YouTube, at YouTube, BK Chuku Izumez. Follow me, subscribe. It's very important. I told you that we are going to go to uh, 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 TikTok. No, so we have to try to make sure that we're up to 8,000. And if there's anyone who will know how to do it, so please inbox me. So we get to a thousand, then a blue our our preaching, I was over there. And this week we are also going to preach on Twitter. Yeah, I am going on Twitter. So my people, don't want don't only say mass nan can on the ayade, and the ayade preaching each other at Wabu, no more bungu, no mamma de Lianco, or not to one, or not to mass nan carry and wada, or your mass nan carry at you and wada, need not to walk or to walk and 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 walk and
Ayabia, it's very important. Now, uh, as I, I told you guys, today will be another different ball game again for what happened in the court, in the court uh, at court at Abuja. But before then, before then, uh, um, we have to use few minutes to talk about the ongoing genocide uh, at coastal area Biafra land. We have to use this few minutes to talk about it. That ongoing genocide at coastal region Biafra land. And I said, where is Ike Clark? Where is CK Clark? Where is CK Clark? Nowhere to be found. Where is uh, 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 Mokri? Uh, is it uh, Leo Mokri from Shekili? Where is he? Or is it because it's, it's not on, on Shekili side that it happened on your side? Tomorrow it will be on your uh, on your tomorrow you'll be tomorrow it might be your turn. This is what we are saying. When the interland of Biafra are facing this, are facing this genocide, our coastal brother keep their mouth, their mouth moot. They, they are not saying anything, but we are going to say what is happening in coastal region because we are the big brother. We are the big brother. Too long can never make a right. Too long can never make a right. I'm going to show the video a bit. And I said, if you want to watch the few video, please go on my Twitter. I also posted, it. go on my Twitter. You will watch the few video. One day, if you case we have one, case we have one, the mother can't cheat. Case we have one, the mother can't cheat. Case we have one, the mother can't cheat. And we are waiting for a side to come to talk. Asali have not have not said anything. Asali kill his own people. Asali tie his own his own brother. Today they have returned it to them because these guys are doing all divide and rule. And we, if our coastal brother have not understand the game Nigeria government is playing, we are not going to play the game. No, we are going to stop the game this Nigeria government are playing. Until our brothers will wake up, and I know this genocide on Ijo, on the Ijo nation, I know this will wake them up. It will wake them up. Tom Polo, where are you? Tom Polo, where are you? We have not said anything. We have not said anything. And on the other hand, on the other hand, your brothers in 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 Bayasa. The jaws in the job in Bayasa are not happy with you because your company is owing them money. They are doing get they are they are just using you guys. Divide and rule system. How can a king be guiding pipeline? A king be guiding pipeline. A king will be guiding pipeline. You the pipeline in your backyard. You are you are you are subdued to, to be pipeline guy. Uh, 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 guiding because they pay you money and you think that is all. How many, how many is your, is your son and daughters have all you wear? How many just sons have all you wear? None. My people, I'm going to play a video the moment the soldiers are coming to the, uh, uh, the seaside with their boats. I'm going to play the video. I'm going to play, show you some pictures of the dead people and also play a little video. I hope Facebook or YouTube will not take it down. But we're going to do that. I said, Tom Polo, where are you? EK Clark, where are you? Mazin Nande Kanu don't want to take anybody's land. Mazin Nande Kanu don't want to become any king over anybody. No. Mazin Nande said, when Biafra come, it just, it just, it just nation will write constitution on their own language. The same thing applied to Shekili. The same thing applied to Rubu. The same thing applied to every ethnicity, tribe. That 
the only thing that will connect us is to come and to come together to form one heavy force that will defend the land. That every land will control their own resources. This is what Mazda can is fighting. The man is he claim that he want to come and take your land, take your resources. Is fighting for seaport in your land. Is fighting for employment in your land. I hope this thing we stand will be a big blessing to our brethren, our your, your brethren. Now, let me go to the video. Let me bring up the video. I know most of you guys have, have seen it, but it's very important that I play the video here. Very, very important. It's very really important that I play the video. And yesterday, twenty something, I mean, men don't die for Delta State. Well, I know the sound. Let's repeat it again. These are the soldiers coming with the, uh, with the boat. Look at the soldiers. These are the soldiers coming. They're listening. The moment they open fire. Something I mean, men don't die for Delta State or Kumadi. I want to know the sound. The moment they arrive with their with their boats. They open fire on the civilians. And now look at the pictures of the dead bodies. Look at some of the pictures of the dead, dead bodies. You can see all those all those places I mark with uh, I mark with lead. These are the dead bodies. These are the dead bodies. You can see them. These are the dead bodies. I just covered them just because of Facebook or YouTube and YouTube. These are the dead bodies. These are human beings. Look at this. Look at the soldier. The soldiers. Look at no. Those they just committed genocide on innocent bear fans. They are not armed. On innocent men and women. Look at it. You can see. This happened in the jaw, in your nation, our, our custom brethren. And guess what? Even their politicians are not talking about it because they have been by us. They have been by us. 
they are using the blood of their children to unite Nigeria. Now, I want to bring the video to show you the video a bit, but I hope the Facebook will not, Facebook will not, to not go against the other thing, you no, know, but let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Now I want you guys to see. From my phone. I don't want to play it all from there. <coughs> I want you guys to see. See. You see? Now, watch again. You see? Hmm? Now, watch again. You see? Hi! Hmm. Watch again. You see? Listen, the soldiers are talking. Hey. You see? You see? One, one was still alive. One was still alive. As it, as them to give them water. You see? Hey! 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 No. Mm. Let me stop this. Let me stop the video. No. If you want to see the if you want to see the video, go go on my Twitter. The video is there. I upload the video there. Full the full video is there. Benjamin uh, uh Benjamin 91 three, three, four, some you know. God. Find, check me out uh, uh, um, uh, at, at Twitter or even in this my page. I was I post my uh, my Facebook uh, handle X handle. So check go there and watch the full video. So what what are the message? Will this open the eyes of our brother Ijo Ijoz? Will this will they come to that sense and know that we their brothers we we want. The betterment of them, we want betterment of everybody, both them and us, and every other person. Now, let's listen to what the army general, uh, the army chief said. For a human being to go to that extent to do for people that came on a peaceful means, then there's something that goes beyond that. I know him, the CEO himself, Lieutenant Colonel Ali, of recent, because we have emphasized we want the oil production on Nigeria to increase so that we'll be able to have enough foreign exchange and then things can really go down because we all know the challenges we're going. And so he insisted that all illegal activities within the general area must stop. So he directed all his troops and they were stopping all this illegal bunkering, stopping all these things. And then these are the people benefiting from it. And so when this issue came, I think it came as an opportunity for them to also do and do a whole routine. And that's exactly what happened. Uh, we know who did, who did it. We're following up on him and it's just a matter of time. We're sure we're going to get him. Because they took away again arms. We must get those arms back. We must get those guys so that they can be prosecuted accordingly. Yeah, you can see the lie from the... From the from the army officer, he was trying to blackmail them with the legal bunker. You no, know, that they are trying to stop the legal bunker so that they can able to uh, to produce 
the crude oil more. But let me ask this man. When they give Tompolo this contract, and at the end, what, who, who is responsible for this oil theft? Oil theft in Niger, in, uh, in uh, uh, coastal region. It was the same the military personnel in coordination with for foreigners. In coordination with foreigners. They are the one benefiting of this oil theft. We see, we see the names of the, com the countries. It was published, I think, two years ago. And even one of the vessels that was seized by Tompolo, at the end of the day, that vessel was, got burned. They burned that vessel not, for not to trace any any uh, 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 how would I say, you know, any results or people responsible for it. But he, here, he, here this man is lying before the world that is because of the, they want to stop them. The indigenous, but they, they are the one benefiting from this oil thief. Tell me, will a common man be able to organize a vessel from Western world and hang it up on international water? Can a, a common man, a common Egyptian, do that? The answer is no. They are the one benefiting from this oil thief. With the help of the for, uh, foreign countries. But now look at the souls of our for our people. Not because of what they have, the God gift in their land. The God gift in their land have turned to bad gift. There's no one in your man that have all you wear. None. If Nigeria is working, the coastal region is supposed to be like Holland. If Nigeria is working, the coastal region is supposed to be like Holland. It will, you know, it will be so attractive, people will be coming there for, for vacation. Now, the blessing from Chukukika Biyama has turned to bad gifts. They start tying our people just because of their resources. And the elders are not, are not saying anything. The young elders are not saying anything. I did the program that I, I told, I said that, E.K. Clark, God has a reason for keeping you alive. That is better for you to come out to address Biafrans. And tender apology and confess your low, you, the low you play. God knows the reason he, he kept you alive. Look at what they are doing, your people. Look at, look at what they are doing to your people, to your son, to your daughters. And you guys want this thing to be sweep under the carpet. You guys want this. Thing. No media has to talking about this. No mainstream media is talking about the, about the genocide against our people. But we are going to push it out with our little platform. We are going to make sure that the world see the atrocity of the Nigerian government against our people. If jaws have not realized the plans of the Nigerian government towards us, we their brothers, their big brothers, has realized the plan, and we are going to put uh, to we are going to end the divide and rule system. They divide us to the extent that when things when they are hitting on, on us, the jaws will not speak for us, and when they are hitting on the jaws, we will not speak for them. We we understand the game. We are going to speak for our brothers. It's Jaws, our brothers. Shekili, our brothers. Ulobo is our brothers. Uh, and Isoko is our brothers. Kalabai is our brothers. Kalabari is our brothers. We are one people. We say no to Nigeria government. And any day we come together, 
that day, the Nigerian government is out from our land. Any day we come together, that day, British government is out from our land. And let me ask my brothers, it does. All those multinational companies, all those oil companies, did they have any of their head office in the coastal region? I ask again, those multinational oil companies that operate in Nigeria, did they did any one any one company have their head office in Bayasa, in Delta, in Portacot, in Calabar, or in Rivers? The answer is no. The answer is no. But still, yet, they are still playing games with you guys. You guys can don't want to wake up. They want to develop the coastal region. What did they? Do? What did they do? They created a commission, NDDC commission, and up to today, tell me how much how much development in in the coastal region? None. But how about Abuja? Federal government developed Abuja direct. Developed Abuja. Federal government developed Lagos. They did not create any commission to develop Lagos or Abuja. Why in the in the coastal region they they give them NDC commission and some of them are jumping up was when they buy some over. When you when they buy you over, we say okay, it's not it's not my business. So far the, the money is in my account. But you don't know nothing, nothing lasts forever. NDDC is supposed to be forced, supposed to be banned. Let the jaws, the Isoko Shekili, Ulobo, Isoko, condemn NDDC. No, it, NDDC is, is not the right thing to be given. Federal government is supposed to develop the region, not to create any commission. Just the same way we have something from uh, Senator Senator Ifani, Oba talking that they, they have given us commission, but we don't need that. So my people, I will stop this thing. I will stop this thing here. But maybe some other time we're going to do justice to this. I hope our brother see just will wake up. Tom Polo, wake up. Tom Polo, I said, wake up. That they are giving you contract to, to guard pipeline is not the best for you. It's not the best for you. It's not the best for your people. It's not the best for you. It's not the best for people. Now you are young. Fight. Fight. Don't follow the way of E.K. Clark. Join us and let's deliver our people. Join us. Let's live as a woman being. There's nothing that you guys have that we don't have. We have more than you guys. So there's nothing you the man will say, okay, they want no, that we don't have. We have. My people, I'm going to stop here. And we are going to go to our, our main our main issue. Because what, what concerns the jaws, the our coastal brethren concerns us too. Because we are one people, one old Easterners, old Easterner state. We are one people. They created these states to divide us. But it's going to stop. So as I welcome you once again, please welcome others. We saw the news uh, from Army Headquarters. Said that they, they declare some people wanted. That some people have been declared wanted. I laugh. This is nonsense. Declare wanted what? You can declare your people wanted. I'm talking to Nigeria, uh, to Nigeria government or the military. The military, you no, know? it's, it's not even a federal government. It's Nigeria, uh, 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 Nigeria Army. You, all those politics, you guys can just play it. We don't care. All we, all we need, the least mass in the can. Whoever that you want to declare wanted, that is not our business. Write whatever name you you, uh, uh, you guys want. You can also write my name too. It's not it's not our business. Our business that that 
we are going out of Nigeria. It's not by force to be a Nigeria. It's not by force. It's not by force to be a Nigeria. It's not by force. So why must you force me to be a Nigeria? Why? The reason why I want to talk about it is that China and Wolu quickly jump up. If China and Wolu did not say something about it, I think I will not. I will not even try to talk about 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 it. It's just that China and Wolu quickly realize that. That the chat card media warrior should focus and face the Nigerian government. Can you imagine? Now, China Samuru, it's time for you to tell to tell your your bulldog, your bulldogs, to focus on Nigeria government. Not not anymore on Aloy Jumako. Not anymore on Madame Nenyanya. Not anymore on our leader's family. So China and world, we have realized that the main enemy, the common enemy is the Nigerian government. Let's take it step by step. First of all, Let's play a, an interview with our wise counsel, Barsalo Ejimako. Let's play the interview. The interview, not interview with, uh, with AIT. We are going to play the AIT, but let's first play this first one, about 16 minutes, before we go to AIT and do justice to it. Now, I want you all to listen, please. It's very important. Please hit the like button and share the program, please. Hit the like button and share the program. It's very important. Let's listen. for joining me on today's edition of Urban Prime Time and um, introducing my guest for this evening who joins us virtually, uh, Barrister Loy Ejimako, Council to Namdekano. Good evening to you, sir. Thank you for joining us. It's my pleasure. Thank you for joining us. All right, mm -hmm. so uh, yesterday, I guess, must have been a very busy day for you. Um, yes. The judgment delivered by Justice Bin Tanyako, did you anticipate it? No, we didn't because uh, we had a very uh, meritorious case. Our case for bail was very strong and carried a lot of merits. We saw no reason on that law or the facts of the case why uh, the Lenin justice denied the application. Mm. It, it didn't make sense to us. On the 26th February, when I moved this application in my capacity as an American of slave council, mm -hmm. 26 February, I moved this application over in court and uh, I insisted on a bench ruling because I had a feeling uh, that this was simply a matter of uh, considering what the Supreme Court had said that an American redeem John Bell and we adduced new evidence uh, regarding his uh, failing health, very serious head conditions that the Department of State Security cannot handle and other extenuating circumstances in his favor. So based on all of that and uh, other APTs of the case, I urged my Lord to make a bench ruling. Uh, she insist insisted she wanted to write her ruling and she suggested that uh, the written judgment uh, is going to be voluminous. Mm -hmm. And that she needed time, at least three weeks to do that. That was why I cooperated. I 
uh, relented when she adjourned the matter to 19th and 20th of March. So, yesterday when we came to court, we were surprised that she didn't write anything. She delivered an oral ruling, oral judgment. I mean, she was looking at a scrap of paper, but the ruling lasted just about under, min under two minutes, suggesting she didn't write anything. Mm -hmm. If she wrote the judgment and the judgment order, it probably would have lasted up to an hour and a half to two hours for her to read all of that, in my experience. So I wonder what happened uh, somewhere along the line um, that a case that had a lot of merit suddenly was treated with such undue levity uh, by the judge. Mm. Uh, the undue levity was evidence in the, the uh, brief uh, um, the minutes or whatever the 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 uh, the, um, the the apparent fact that she didn't write anything. Mm. So she could have, you know, if she intended uh, delivering a bench ruling, uh, such a short ruling, she should have done that on 26th February. Mm. Could you, so why could, wait could almost you, a you, month? Could you that? highlight some of the merits that you say this bill application you filed? Can you, can you highlight well, some I, of the merits it, okay, it has? Sure, sure. Mm. Sure, I'll do that. I, I, I did that in that. I did that in directly what I call the equities of the case. You recall on 15th um, February, no, 15th December, December last year. Right. Yeah, the, this matter had come up before the Supreme Court. Well, uh, Mazen Nandekan lost the main appeal, which was that his extraordinary rendition constituted pro prosecutorial barrier. Mm -hmm. He lost that. But they won the argument on his bail that whether the question before the court, Supreme Court, was whether he jumped bail or not. And Supreme Court said he did it. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, the Supreme Court went as far as condemning the, um, the, the unwillingness of this same trial judge to consider the circumstances that led to Nan Decano's failure to uh, appear in court back in 2017. And circumstances that led his flight, uh, led to, the, to his flight of safety out of Nigeria, and they went as far as uh, at page twenty of the judgment to question the impartiality of the judge. They used the word the impartiality of the judge is suspect. Mm -hmm. They condemned all of that. They, they condemned the warrant of arrest, or bench warrant that she, she issued upon which the extraordinary rendition was granted. So this is uh, a circumstance that is in Namdi's kind of favor. He's in favor of granting him bail or re restoring the former bail. The second one is his air condition. Um, the general public may not know it, but a prisoner or a prisoner's air condition is a compelling uh, circumstance that uh, enables him to be granted bail. And of course, you know Section 35 of Nigerian constitution guarantees everybody the right to bail. So these are the other secondary factors to be considered. So if you so if you are not in good health, you are a notch above the crowd. Your case becomes stronger. Mm -hmm. And we have well established paper trail of uh, the hair the, the, the poor head condition of Marzin Mandekano that has defied every solution applied by the state security services uh, health clinic. And we know very well that government health clinics are not the best in the world or best in Nigeria, not the top of one that is um, uh, located at uh, a glorified police cell or police detention center, otherwise known as DSS mm -hmm. uh, detention facility. So health is the overriding factor. Uh, there are other uh, smaller factors uh, in the case uh, uh, that you can find in the delay that uh, uh, has been occasioned in this very case since 2015 by the government, by the government's incessant amendment. If you recall this case of in 2015 as treasonable felony, it changed dramatically in 2021 to terrorism related offenses. So the government has been moving the goalposts making it impossible to take trial in this matter. And at each given point, when we apply for bail or when we take a constitutional application that we're entitled to, they begin to argue accelerated trial. 
you want to accelerate trial, but you amend your charges every three, four, five, six months. There have been at least 11 to 12 amendments of charges since 2015. And cumulatively, Nandi Kano has, by consequence of that, um, spent almost five years in prison count and counted for a trial detention. What is the life expectancy of the average African male? 56. He has had five of those years taken away from him without conviction. These are circumstances to be considered in granting such a person bail. All right. Now, now uh, you talked about... Okay, go on. Okay. Again, if you go uh, beyond the legalities mm -hmm. and bring in the reward uh, 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 arguments in favor of granting him bail, the insecurity in South East has been linked to his detention. Well, rightly or wrongly, true or false, I think there's an element of connection there. And we believe that Okay. And do the right thing. No, he has been in detention since 2021. Yes. And up until now, yesterday, he was denied uh, uh, his bail application. And as it stands yes. now, this is uh, March 2024, and the case has not even, the trial has not even started, right? Yes. So mm -hmm. once the trial begins, can the federal government amend its charges or um, it, 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 are they always able to amend uh, their charges because the trial has not fully commenced once it commences will they have that ability to do that will they, will they have the ability to do that under nigerian law the government unfortunately has a limited opportunity to amend charges the only person that can stop government from doing this are the only people that can stop it are the judges. The law says they can amend. They can amend their charges before delivery of judgment. They can bring in charges. And they use this. They abuse it. And I gotta tell you the truth. They so, abuse the process by amending charges at will at their whims and caprices. And it's very difficult for defense counsel because, and the, and the suspects or, or defendants because, uh, the goalpost is being moved. You are charged with treasonable felony and your lawyer is preparing to defend you on that. For several years, they turn around, remove treasonable felony entirely. It's not as if they left it intact and added new charges. They removed it and brought new charges, thereby rewiring the brain of the defendant and, and his counsel to begin a new uh, avenue of begin to es explore new legal windows or defending the new, the new charges. It's very unfair that's what, on that's the society, what, that's what, that's what I'm on saying. the common once, man. Once the trial commences, will the window be open for them to amend the charges? That's what I'm saying. The, 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 there's no limit. There's no only limit. the judges can stop it. Wow. Yeah, only the judge can. Before delivery of judgment, even after you have taken a plea, they can come, come back and say, oh, we forgot one charge, or we want to remove one and put the other. Only the judge can, can say, no, it's way too much. I'm not going to allow any more am amendments in my courtroom. And they can, they can even take appeal against the judge if they choose. Mm. Uh -huh. So that's what is going on, and they are using it to their advantage. But they will turn around and accuse us of stalling. That is very disingenuous. If you amend the charge, it opens a new window, a new opportunity or it exposes the, the defendant to new perils, perils to his liberty and to his life. For instance, the reasonable fellow may carry a, a certain long prison term, maybe life imprisonment, but terrorism carries death penalty. So those things have to be considered when you bring in terrorism-related offenses. In that very event, you are subjecting our clients to a cruel and unusual situation. So we have to explore every defense available, including motions 
constitutional motions or motions allowed under the constitution mm -hmm. to examine the propriety of these charges. And when we do that, they say we are stalling. What are we stalling that we cannot defend our clients? If you amend the charge, we accept the charge willy-nilly, even if the charge is defective or, or in error or is nonsensical. These are the defenses we have before plea can be taken or even after plea has been taken. They, they are generally called notice of uh, a preliminary objection. When we do that, they say, oh, the defense is stalling. We are filing motions. But you are amending charges. Okay. We are, you, yeah, so it is our right to file motions when we amend charges to test the veracity or the priority or the legality of that very new charge. Did you, did you capture these concerns in your preliminary objections? Because in that preliminary objection, you prayed the court not to um, allow Kano's trial until certain conditions were met by the federal government. What conditions were you yeah. making reference to? Well, in this very particular circumstance, Mm -hmm. uh, we filed a preliminary objection, uh, uh, push one to section 36, okay. sub 6, sub B and C. This section pertains to fair trial. Uh, that is, uh, to break it down, B provides, uh, that is 36, 6 B, provides that a defendant is entitled to adequate facilities to prepare for his defense. And the other one, C, provides that the defendant is entitled to uh, have counsel of his choice to defend him. Now, Namdekan is being detained at the DSS facility. We don't have the, 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 the divine license, uh, the freedom that a, a lawyer requires to consult with his client who is going into trial. Mm -hmm. Yes, they, they have secret listening devices installed in the little 10 by 10 interrogation room where we meet Nam the Kano two hours on Mondays and Thursdays only. Wow. Yes, and then they have secret videographic and photographic devices installed in there. And there is another room attached to that very room where that the room is permanently short and it's you know, if you peek inside when they open the door, they have all kinds of gadgets there with two, three officers and with and, and the headphones over them. The moment we go in, they're rushing that into that room and lock it. And then there's an officer sitting by the door. So we don't have the privacy uh, that is required under Nigerian law between a lawyer and his client. Everybody knows about it. I don't have to be a lawyer that, to know that the, 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 the communication between a lawyer and his clients is like communication between a wife and a husband. Mm -hmm. He's shielded from the public. So we cannot properly prepare him for his defense because they are listening to our conversations, strategies and everything, and they are taking pictures of us. So when we go there, we whisper to each other's ears, and sometimes we gesticulate and communicate in sign language wow. and by pantomime. Yes, and we don't take, we are not allowed writing devices like, pen, you know, pens and paper. So you're that not, we you're may not allowed take, to go in there with writing devices? Yes, materials, yes. So how Pen about, your, how about can, your phones? We cannot write. We are not allowed to go with our phones. Our phones are left away at the reception. Mm. Uh -huh. so, and we are not allowed to take documents to him unless the document has been taken to somewhere in the facility. We don't know. Maybe they are forensic department or whatever. They make copies. So in case the document the same day or the day after... So if, for instance, I take legal documents to him to discuss with him, they take the documents from me, away, they take it away from me. So I meet with him for 30 minutes because my other colleagues are waiting to meet for him for 30 minutes each. Mm. So by the time I'm leaving, if the document is not back, I leave without discussing that legal document with him. With him. So in this kind of circumstance, uh, uh, we are not going to be effective in launching his defense because our hands are tied behind our back. So and the Supreme, Court, okay. the Supreme Court said that the criminal accusation and criminal defense should ensure that there is equality of arms. You know what that means? Mm -hmm. Equality. Oh, that's it. So my people, this is the 
the the much we can go on this interview and i did not interject so that i want you guys to follow up to listen very good and to point out the the key points now it can, do you see do you see how this interview go you cannot compare this interview with ait we are going to play the the one of ait no the journalist you know the one of ait the man is biased. They have told him what to ask Aurora Igimako already. But you can see this lady trying to find out what is happening between a Mazin and Kano court case. And it is obvious that like, just like what our leader said, that they are just wasting his time. They know this is a political issue. They are just wasting his time. And Mazda can say that I will defeat you in your own court. I will defeat you in your own court. Just like what our lawyer Marco said, you can see the slaves meeting our leader. They does not allow anything, even their phone, nothing. And they communicate with hand sign. That tells you that. Mazin Nandi can know that a day like this will come. Mm -hmm. I couldn't allow it, Marco. He said they communicate with hand sign because there are camera everywhere. You know, a lot of uh, uh, listening device there. So most at times, I couldn't allow it, Marco. They communicate with hand sign. We'll tell you, Mazin Nandi can will do. And that answer will be a kind of issue that is that they don't want DSS to understand what is going on. And you can hear Alec McCall telling us again that now, even the, the upper hand that the federal government have, that they can amend charges anytime they want. Anytime they tomorrow they can put up these charges to, today. Tomorrow night, they have to take it out and put another one again. And he said that only the judge can stop them. That is why Bin Tanyako turned down Supreme Court rule. And when I allowed him, I asked him, my lord, are you turning down the Supreme Court rule about the big condition of Mazin and Kano? He said no, that he have not lead the judgment of, from Supreme Court. Yesterday, we play it. So, I don't want, because just because I have a couple of, a lot of video to play, I don't want to waste much time by trying to uh, narrate. Let, let's go to the AIT interview. Let's go there to AIT interview. You know, this is what these people are supposed to be doing, pointing Nigeria government where they have planted their evil seed against Mazina and Kano. They, they are now fighting their own court. They are not they don't want to obey their own court decision. But instead of them doing it, Kano Takano. Is their enemy now? They are fighting Kano Takano with his with his brother. Alo Edmako, they are fighting him, and they are telling you guys that they stand on a pre court rule, discharge and acquitted Mazin and Kano. It's, they say that's where they stand. Now ask them those those that say they stand there, they stand on that decision of uh, a pre court. What are they doing to bring Mazina Kane out since the federal government did not obey that, that appeal court rule? What are they doing? I asked, I said, what are they doing? So you want the wise counsel, the Marco, and our other family to say, okay, no, we, we stand on an appeal court decision. Since you stand on an appeal court decision, why do you go to Supreme Court? I asked. 
as Chica Paul the dozem, since he stand on an appeal court decision, why did they even appeal the decision of that appeal court? Why did they even appeal? Why why did the appeal court grant federal government the state execution? Okay, apart from that, why did they go to Supreme Court? Since you want to stand on a pick court decision, why do you go to Supreme Court? And you know that Supreme Court is the highest court in the land, is the highest court in the land. After Supreme Court, there's no other court. Their judgment is final. We see what happened to uh, 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 Obi. When, they, when the issue went to a pick court, what happened? When the appeal court give that decision, everybody hands up, hands down. So when they go to the appeal court, the appeal court now put aside the appeal court decision and ask them to go to lower court to start up again. Then you want us to stop and say no, we stand on the appeal court. Then Mazda Khan will be there. Will be there any time they want, they will leave him. Just like what our leader said, that they want his body. When they see that it's getting worse, they have to leave him and so go outside. So we go outside and die. But we reject that, we reject that. All of them that want such on our leader, on our leader, dead shall be their portion. All of them that want that on our leader, I say, I repeat. It will be devised. That shall be their portion. Mbose ke mboso ye mbosa fo mbose mpo. Afinan yibo na azo. Now, Chika Paul, the dozen is telling you guys that they stand on a pay court. Why the highest court in the land have give a direction? Now you want to reject the appeal court and say you stand on, on the lower court decision. Okay? And they made that one name. And you call yourself a lawyer. You call yourself a lawyer. You call yourself a lawyer. If you want to say you stand on a pick court decision, the subject you are fighting for, you, 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 you should have fight for that, that subject to be out. When that subject is out, you will not be shouting, yes, we stand on a pick court decision. Not when that subject is still, is still with the enemy. Still with the enemy. They are still holding him. You say you want to stand on a pick court decision. Then how do you want that subject to be out? How do you want that person to be out? Or would have done that subject that put that go? No outside. You can say yes. If you stand on a pick court decision, then he protected the subject for any further trial anymore. No. Not when the subject is still in the enemy camp. You say you stand on a peak or decision. Whereas the enemy is still holding the, the subject. One there, who don't know the cable, who don't know the. A back, who don't know the. And my don't know the. So it's obvious. Nigeria government and British government, they are so much interested in this game. They are the one doing this. They are the one doing this. Mazin Nande Kano say that they will defeat them in their own courts. He will defeat them. All the court cases is going, you have been defeating them one by one, one by one, one by one. So the West Council of Lord Marco want to use their own system to hold them because Kita Noa, Oku, the Wailu, the case of our leader, all the Wailu now. Because that game that they're going to want to play, the, the lawyer, our wise counsel, is playing them, is playing that game with them, is going on the moon with them, on Atunana with them. Because if you say you stand on a pick court decision, they will say, okay, maybe once in, once in six months, they will come out and say something that. Look at look at their decision because it will also and I want I want the person. What what are you going to do? What, do you want to do a prison a prison break? Okay, look at the the Kujé prison. Bintanyako said no that he cannot send Mazina to Kujé prison 
because twice of his of of uh, of his crime, uh, his crime. I, 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 the uh, um, uh, 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 run away from the Kuya prison. Say, say for that note, it can send our leader there, and that is where the house are just coming, and that's where it's okay. Have we put on? Have we make an appeal? Uh, 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 have we applied for it? For it? So, or if the White Council did not go to this lower court, will this idea be coming out? If we stand on that appeal court decision, this step I will take now. I will take here. Yeah? No. I can't put there now. What I can't have is here. No, it's easy. But now, but now, when you double your brother, because every one of us, every one of us on easy, I think every one, every one of us on easy, I think every one for three years, man's not going to afford his family, or going to afford his kids, his children, or going to afford money. Only the money I can't allow. As Zayuba is telling us that if, if Mazna Khan is out, that what 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 they are about to give Mazna Khan, they have not give it to him. That he should remain there. As Zayuba come down from Highland and come and come and exchange, let's exchange you with Onyendu. Remain there. Tell As Zayuba to come down from uh, uh, Dublin or no, Highland or no, to go to DSS. We want to do an exchange. Now, please, my people, let's go to uh, the AIT interview. Let's see what they say there. Oh. There were my people, uh, Alice the Chuku, who the handmaker known, there were no one, uh, one, uh, uh, genius, James, handmaker, and watching a can make a no. I'm a lot, I'm a lot to chuku a maker, and make a I'm a maybe I'm a maybe standing for, but we're, we're going to treat your this is your topic you were here today. So I hope we man the bias. So I'm a one that now the man like come and see you work. Work come and see me perform now. Because me 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 chew timbo dumbo. You know me or pull out no. So let's go to AIT interview. Let's go to AIT interview. How bias the man are they? Okay, here we go. Is this where the word Facebook? We are just doing for nothing. I cannot stop. If you like, kick everybody out. So on your on the boat, they kick people out. Well, it's not, not it's not my business. My message is going, and if they kick you out, join. No. So let's continue. Let's go. Please hit the like button and share the program. It's very important. Please. Thank you. Words of the incarcerated leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namdi Kanu, shortly after his bill was denied on Tuesday. Namdi Kanu has been in and out of detention since October 2015 for what the government has described as anti state activities. Since then, the southeast region has been the hotbed of violence with various groups blaming the rise in conflict on Kanu's continued incarceration. This is what he had to say following his appearance in court on Tuesday. Anybody committing can cannot go scot free. I swear it. They cannot go scot free. Anybody involved in any type of crime in the east cannot go free. And they're doing it because I'm 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 in DSS. That's what they, even I said no idiot can try this rubbish, and they know it very well. They know it very well. And I suspect that some people in government are complicit. Yes. They are making money with insecurity. Yes. They are making money with it. They know now the can is outside. In two minutes, this nonsense will stop. Who is the idiot? Who is the bagger? That will, that will speak when I'm talking. Who, who is the fool? Who is the idiot? I ask. That I give an order in the east and any idiot to counter it. Who is the who is the bastard? I'm asking you. Okay, yeah. so, Nobody sir. can. Sir, are you I'm not the canon? No. Who's the idiot? Rubbish. No, no, don't. Joining us in the studio is Barrister Aloy Echimako, Kanu's lead counsel. Thank you for joining us on AI. It's my pleasure. Report. Thank you. Now, quickly, is Inamdi Kanu trying to work the system, the judicial system, by impressing his relevance on peace in the Southeast? Yes. Um, 
first of all, we're happy that for the first time since he was renditioned in 2021 and detained, yesterday was the first time he had a full opportunity, ample opportunity to speak to the media. It's been us lawyers speaking for him. So it was the turning point. The next big thing that happened yesterday that he, was, he spoke to the media and he made himself very clear. And I'm happy Nigerians listening to him and they've heard what he had to say about insecurity in the South East, which is key to what happened in court yesterday that made us very unhappy. Everybody else knows this except the presiding judge. This was one of the reasons why we had to bring a fresh application okay, um, uh, for his bail in order to see how we can, through the process of court, assist in combating or containing that insecurity in Southeast. Okay. okay. Namdi Kanu has called for violence in the past on his Radio Biafra platform. So on both security persons and citizens alike. So why the, uh, the turnaround uh, saying that if, if he gets bail, uh, um, he can assure that there will be peace in the No, you are totally wrong. He never called for violence. He called for safe defense. Uh, because, because, you can, because we can clearly see that you can, you can, in 2020, the NSAS protest, if you Google it now, you can get that information. Where he, he called for an attack on uh, the governor, Son Wolu, and some other... No, I, I, recall, I recall an interview he did with uh, the Ovation Magazine publisher. What's his name again? Ovation Magazine publisher? That was um, an interview he did with him. I, recall, I remember his name before we finished. He did an interview because of what you just said. The misunderstanding, the misconception of what he had said during NSAS. So he clarified himself. He was called self-defense, the Southeast. Okay. And for people to employ self-defense to defend themselves against those that are living in the city, in the country. Uh, okay, so um, let's, let's, let's just say, okay, uh, if his intentions are genuine, um, how does he hope to achieve this peace? Efficient. He's a man with millions of followers. His voice is very strong in this country. He cannot take that away from him. His sheer force of character, his charisma, and his capacity to rally people to do the right thing. Those things are key to combating this insecurity, and he, he can, he, he, he can uh, do it. He, he clearly does have a lot of supporters, and, and some of his supporters are complicit in uh, violence. People like Sam Epa. Uh, what is what, what what's your take on that? Mazen Nandikar has been in detention since 2021, and they are trying to make him responsible for what is happening out there. That he doesn't have. Okay. A let's, let's let's get back to the, the now. Pe the people, uh, the people. As, as no, no, hold on. The people that you assuming. There has been violence, have, there have been violence have, perpetrated in the southeast, and they have been linked to his continued detention. They have been linked to his detention. So, uh, how, how can you say that uh, these supporters? Sorry, my people. Also, let me my network, my network. Let me bring it up again. He. he, he they, they are not his supporters. I swear it. They cannot go scot free. To combating this insecurity. Yeah. And he, he can, he, he can do it. He, he, he clearly does have a lot of supporters. And, and some of his supporters are complicit in uh, asking for violence, preaching violence. People like Sam Epa. Uh, what is, what, what, what's your take on that? Mazen Nandikar has been in detention since. 2021, and they are trying to make him responsible for what is happening out there that he doesn't have anything okay. to do with. Oh, oh. Okay. He cannot be guilty by association. Okay, okay. Let, let's, let's, let's get back to the beginning. And if, as as he's incarcerated now, the people, the people, uh, as, as no, no, hold on. The people that you are assuming uh, to be his supporters, hmm. some are genuine, some are not, some are credible, some are not. You cannot attribute 
anybody to man in America okay, 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 to say okay, okay, support. Okay, okay. There, has, there has been violence, have there have been been violence perpetrated in the Southeast and there have been links to his continued detention. There have been links to his detention. So, uh, how, how can you say that um, these supporters are not his uh, supporters or they are not... Okay. And, and, if, and even if he, 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 they, they are not his supporters, as he's incarcerated, uh, his supporters are not listening to him. So how are we sure that him getting bail will mean that his supporters... Okay, you see, you are attributing what people say, what people do to Mazen Namdekan out there. It's very unfair. He spoke up for himself yesterday. He said he's not in support of any violence and criminality. And I think, he, which I think he should be taken at his word. You know, any, you know, any, the witch cried at night and the baby died in the morning doesn't necessarily mean that the witch killed the baby. So if somebody says, oh, I mean, involved in violence because I'm not the kind of supporter, you take it at face value, it's unfair and it's being disingenuous. At the same time, I think it's what Nam the kind of says if he claims such a person for himself. If he supports what that person is doing, then you can attribute it to him, but not as he didn't. And he made it clear yesterday that he doesn't. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, okay, so, so, um, the the seat at home position in the south is uh, is, is, is is bleeding the co in the country. What is uh, Nandu Kanu's position on this? Um, seat at home he, he did not speak to it yesterday, but there's uh, something you need to understand. There are millions of people in the south east that are not happy with Nandu Kanu's detention. It has gone beyond IPOB. The entire star is, is roiling. Ibos are not happy. He's being detained illegally. You should know that since 2021. Millions of people are not happy. And if they react by sitting at home on Mondays, you cannot go and drag them out of their houses. In the past, he had made it clear to the public that he no longer wished anybody to sit at home for him. But if people volunteered on their own to sit at home on Mondays to put pressure for his release, you shouldn't blame them, and you shouldn't blame Nam de Kano either. It, under, it underscores his popularity, and it also underscores the manifest injustice that has been done to him. So he doesn't support Nam de Kano. I'm sorry, he doesn't support um, Sam Epa. Is that what you are saying? That he, Sam Epa is not his supporter, and see, he's not when, a supporter when, of Sam Epa? See, this, this interview was scheduled impromptu, and I had to rush to come in here. I didn't come in here to discuss Simon Epa. And Namdekano, I thought, okay, fine. I thought I was coming here to discuss legalities. I'm Namdekano's lead counsel. I'm waiting for you to ask me questions about the injustice being done to Namdekano, and you're asking me other questions. I don't think I, sh I should address those ones. It's uh, beyond my scope for now. Okay, thank you very much, Barrister Aloy Ejimako, Kano's lead counsel. Um, welcome and um, thank you for your time on thank the you. report. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> the wise council, Ogi Mwaka. The wise council, Barsalo Ejimako, Gwa Mwaka. We're going to call him Barsalo Ejimaka. Kupulone Aka. Kupulone Barsalo Ejimaka. The wise council, Kupulone Aka. You see, you can see the the different the difference between this one full and the journalist and the first interview I just played that interview you Aloy Jamako. This one full and the uh, journalist from AIT. All those questions was penciled down for him to ask Aloy Jamako, and you can see when Aloy Jamako told him that it's here for him to ask him this. About the legal, about the the uh, ma, our Maznan can fire that is, is a lawyer to Maznan can is here to ask him about something connected to the story that is not here to discuss about Simon Elba, and that is where he just hung up his boots. It's okay, okay, that because I read my father, I've told him that he's not here to answer about Simon Elba or that, 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 that is here to answer about what happened in the court, but. This will, this, this will tell you that enemy is everywhere. Enemy is everywhere. Manemo no, Manilo, everywhere. They are fighting all corner. And that's why Madna Khan said, at the end, that we shall win. That you can, they can do all they can, but at the end, that we shall win. This journalist, Mwafulani, did he, did he, did he ask a lawyer in the market? 
why did Bintanyako deny bail application? This journalist to one funal, one funal, did he talk about Mazna Kano bed deny? This journalist one funal, did he talk about the decision Supreme Court make about Mazna Kano that the lower court turn on? Turn down. No. All, all he was interested is about Simon Epa to make a large marker to say something so they will, they will use it they will use it to trend. But they fail. The wise counsel understand the game and told him outrightly that it's not here for him to answer about Simon Epa, but that is here to answer about the case of Mazin and Khan. And that's when he acts up. This will tell you guys that now. Ogwana ano. Ablo ogunne na bado unwa. Ogwana ano. Ablo ogunne. Because enemy do everywhere. And soon as I read him, I contact him. Where that now? Not never to answer the something connected to Mazin and the camera. Not from Simon Neba. Ochina kana boni. You say okay. Okay. Thank you. Ochina kana boni. I'm going to go to that video and watch the, that journalist. He was, he was, he pencil everything down. If I go there joy, look at when he asked Alloy Jamaica about Mon, uh, Monday City at home. Monday City at home, we know when, when Mazna and Kano tweeted that issue. Wrote letter to Simon Epa. It was everywhere. About answers. We know when our leader, uh, uh, Dele Momodo, Momodo invited Mazna and the camp. And everything was settled, everything. And they are trying, he's trying to, he trying to revive it. If our lawyer, Jimako, is not smart enough, all that do, he will hear, Otuo Ugo, the Chukuo Kikabiyama, who disgrace them, who expose them. So I thank our Lord Marco. The reason why we call him wise counsel. Obono, no, no, no. Because all the full of wisdom. Oh my own name. You can see the answer he gave to this, to this guy. You can see the answer so there. At the end of the day, the guy. Almost a boy eating yaka. Because all those questions on our dear was penciled down for him to ask a lawyer, Marco. Answers. Monday sit at home. Someone else, but follow of follow of Mazda and Kano or not? But that the same annual fear will not tell us that you have not listened when someone else said that anything he's doing is doing it on his own. That. He will take responsibility of what he's doing. He, a man went on, 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 on about, about it. A man went on, on about it. And guess what? The same thing this man in there, there's this journalist in there, the same thing that like, this Richard Card Media, Richard Card Media Warriors are doing. They are so bitter that our lawyer Jamaica did not mention Simon Epa. Did not condemn Simon Epa here. They are so bitter. Onyoku, na abano ni ala achuoke. Onyoku na abano ni ya, anuwa achuoke. Ask yourself, why haven't federal government condemned Simon Epa? All we hear, Army Headquarters. Uh, police headquarters, uh, Senate. But what, why have federal government from presidency condemned Simon Eber? Why? So I, I so much thank Barstow Edge Marco for the answer he gave to this 
AI to journalist for, for his wisdom. Because all can I want to know I am going to do okay. All their plan to cook a car beer man will destroy them. Before your eyes, to cook a car beer man will destroy all these plants. One by one. Now, let's go to what happened in court. Let's go to what happened in court. Let's bring it up. What happened in court? <clears throat> okay. Okay, I go. I'm making everything. Yes. What's the problem? Why? Uh, they didn't. They didn't give me any outfits. They didn't give any outfits. That's true. You don't do that. So, and they are doing it because I'm 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 I'm, I'm in DSS. That's why even I said no idiots can try this for me, and they know it very well. They know it very well, and I suspect that some people in government are complicit. They are making money with this security. I think. Um, let me take this one down first. Let's bring where where our was talking about is health first before we can come to this. I'm sorry. Let me take this one down first. To change its mind as well, <laughs> depending on the strength of the argument. Thank you. So we hope that they will change their mind. They are using it to do experiment against us. Exactly. I don't so see. Um, there is no way we're going to allow that to happen. Is My it, rights must be respected. Is important. My right to fair hearing must be observed and understand that. They're talking to Kenya into this talk. You're talking about your health condition. Yes. What exactly yes. is wrong with you, sir? Health I wise. have congenital heart failure. Congestive heart failure is called. From the medication, you can tell. So they're basically trying to keep me alive. So that when, when they calculate that, that I'm about to give up, that my heart is about to pack up, they will now say go. So when I go outside, I will die outside. That's what they're trying to do. The medications they've been giving to you yes. has not been working. It's not. It's not working. If it's working, why would I have all these uh, lumps underneath my? And he, ha and he has written a petition to the Nigeria Medical uh, Association where they brought one quack doctor, somebody who is not a doctor, to treat him. To come and try and treat mm -hmm. him. The doctor has not. They don't know what they're doing, and they know they don't know what they're doing. Or else, why would I have this? As long as it <coughs> remains in DSS custody, there won't be, be no trial. So not to the application for the is um, seeking for a non-custodial um, um, arrangement yes. by the court. You said because house arrest. Exactly. Yes. I don't mind house arrest because I'll defeat them. In this court, I'll defeat the government of Nigeria. Yeah. The whole world will see it. Where is the um, feasible felon? Where is it? It's All these years, John, this has happened. Feasible treason, treason. What yeah. is treason today? It's gone. It's somewhere this um, <laughs> tourism charge will go. I don't, I'm thinking of another capital offense that can charge me with. Maybe, um, I don't know, impregnating the wife of somebody. I don't know what happened. <laughs> you are saying you are innocent of all these charges. Yeah. They, 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 the federal government, they know I'm not guilty. My only guilt is that I'm fighting for my people. And I will fight for them. Okay, sir, last for justice question. and fairness and equity everywhere. Last question. Question. As your family have been able to... Anybody to using IPAB to commit crime is, is a criminal. It's not, it's not part of this family. Our family is based on four cardinal points. You must be without fear before your enemies. You must speak the truth always, even if it leads to your death. You must help the poor and those who cannot help themselves and be of good character that God may love thee. 
That's who we are. Yeah, so what would be your words to those out there in the East who are killing in the name of IPOB? Mm -hmm. That they are criminals. They are, not, they are criminals. They are not part of this family. We are called a family for a reason. We've come to serve our people, not to enslave them. Anybody conducting any type of activity that contravenes the welfare of our people is a criminal and must be dealt with. Thank you very much. Yeah. Any form of violence or subversion in the name of Biafra is not part of this family. Our family is noble. It's called IPOB. It's all over the world. So you condemn anything that has to do with killing? In total, why would I kill and violence? People, people have sacrificed my parents for them. Why would I want to kill any other person after that? Huh? Anybody who's committing crime in the name of IPOB is a, is a criminal. Yeah. They won. I won't know they are from Mars and Nani can. Anybody committing crime in the name of Biafra is a criminal. I got more of Korea. Oh, Mars and Nani will be Korea. Anybody committing crime in the name of Biafra is a criminal. And now, you see, when I want to talk about his health issue, their plan. Their intention. But more man says no is that we will mark it king Kamenu when you when I say no loan man and loan no if you no loan no more middle no loan no more no more man says no is no you when Oko mo ni eli no bi ben na mo when you when I say on what ke on what ya. Nature must not can let it on. Oh, yeah, John, there is a little mini. Oh, more. You are a boom, more, you boy. Oh, muddy. You are a boom, muddy, you boy. None do mass not carry yard, cage nature, they have wabble. No bona can ya play warm, bona can ya play warm, man don't don't canker. Mass non canoe. EJ, EJ, he are not a year, not a loo. Now funded in undone. He said, he said, he said, tell him he said they are beacon, tell him he said they are beacon. So, whatever plan they are having against Mazina and Kano, it will be their own portion, not our just portion. And Mazina and Kano talk about that we are family. We are family. He did not say Mazna and Kano fami family. He said that's why we are family. So there is four cardinal points. He mentioned it. That you must remain fearless before your enemy. And you must speak the truth, even though it will lead you to, the, to death. Now I ask, ask those this the chat academy their worms. Ask 1,000 teeth, Metusela. As APC agent in IPO, which was the Guato. As Paul Achebe. And as China Sawanketa and Azayoba. Are you guys speaking the truth? Una na agwa bia the truth. Una na agwa bia the truth. The answer is no. Just the same way I want to say that now. The the, 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 the charges any there before had been disappeared. The same way what these men are saying about our last family that they want our leader to undergo surgery in DSS dungeon. This, today they have disappeared. The same way, Anna said that Kano Takano a brother to Mars Nan Kano, not a cousin. He have disappeared today. The same way Anna carry out rumor that the family want our leader to be to buy in DSS dungeon, it have disappeared. The same way this is the this is the propaganda I want to project today. Yet disappear tomorrow. We must remain fearless before our enemy. And we must speak the truth by all time. 
Kwe mwa mwa zez mwez nè bè kou sinz. Yon yon nè kwe ba wou tout. O mwè li wwa nou kou wwa si. Kom mwa pa challenge mi. Kom mwa. O delo mwa mwa zez mwez nè ki kou wwa si. Let's look into it. And that is why when I say things, I make sure I bring you evidence. When I quote somebody, I make sure I tell you this is the person that said this and said that. I ask you, ah, Bakan Takan is not about Thomas Nanikano. I guess he's talking about it today. It's having disappeared in the thin air. Takan Takano is not about Thomas Nanikano. No, the police are No, we are not I can't help you today. What is that, go? All those lies will disappear. I told you guys that lies don't last test of time. The truth last test of time. All those propagandas. I'm from Mars Nankano. All those who are not now. They have been feeding Mars Nankano with lies. They have been deceiving our leader. Today, our leader of the Koyi is deceived. Somebody standing in the court. Ne defend the white lawyers to sit down. Ne defend the win. Or what no one would now. I am mass in nine the canon, you know. I never change it. I never change. All those lies for since for the past three years from China and one keta. Green name today. Or we could go. I'm going to go na the other day. You trouser. If you go, I'm going to go to the other More is coming. I say more is coming instead of them to be fighting to use their platform to be speaking on injustice against Mazna and Kanu, both bay condition. They are doing under way land, attacking the, uh, the legal team, attacking the family. And that, and that is what Nigeria government want, wanted. And that's what they are doing. That is what they are doing. They told you before that these people don't want my wallet to be out. But today, the same people now would now actually come out to be out are against the big, big application of our leader. Are against the big application of our leader. Just like just like what I told them, I I told them they shall never be at peace until Mazda is out, and it's happening. One thousand teeth, one of them, now nobody should call him media wally anymore. No, 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 no on his own, no independent broadcaster. For the past three years, they have used you to blackmail innocent people, and today. Those the same people you Zugu, they are not coming after you now. And I am not picking pick about you. Now you have turned to be independent broadcaster. All those lies for years that they have used you to blackmail innocent people, to lie against people. Now the same Methuselah and Abun today that no more is some com some coordinate uh, coordinate uh, coordinators. That he had been talking with. He mentioned, he said they are good, but he cannot mention the, their name on media. That if you mention if he mentioned their name, they will be blackmailed and they will get suspension or expel from, uh, uh, from the IPW family. Now ask Metusela, who, who is going to expel those people? He mentioned near their name. So does it mean that? Those people cheek a poly, those Zemuna, half an little Biafra. Those people are an an expert that they have been lying against. You know, you have a suspension or you have a male expert. And then when they are calling their name, you support them. Today, you are finding that that cheek a poly, those Zemu is not upright 
And that's the reason why I don't want to mention those coordinators' name. That is said, if, the, if you mention their name, they will be get a spell or sack. I, I played the video yesterday, but I'm going to repeat the video today. So then John met to say that. So all those years, those people, Chica Pole Dozia Munacho, Onya no Galicia, no, stop that. And Galicia, no, stop that. Insist on that. So no, don't because those people are loyal to them. Uh, to them. Don't, uh, don't because. Now they want to use those people and they rejected, and that's why they were expelled from the group for my POB. Remember the last name they call our comrades in UK, George Ume. When they pronounce his name, remember we came up and we take Chica Poly. This will be your last bus stop. That your office has been, become worthless. That any document from your office. Is fake because Mazin and Khan have not did not recognize you anymore because he refused to take instruction from instruction from Mazin and Khan. I could me, I know you guys should remember, I said it, and since then up to now, I took any pep, any document from his office is X. I must say, I fake because if you cannot respect Mazin and Khan, I was supreme leader order. We cannot respect the order because in IPOB. The chain of command flow from top to the bottom, not from middle to the bottom. No. So Metusela now, now Gazunu, that now, now this Kaba now. Oh my God, that now there is something wrong from these people. That all don't mention the name of these coordinators. Their name will be announced on radio Biafra, and they will be expelled. So ask yourself. And all that's not fight is these cabals. And when can I fight up to today? Then John me to say, why? Why? Why don't you make sure the name they will have to expel those people? So that means there is something not along actually boon about these people. About Chica Poly, those them and Trans and Wood and and his cohort. Now, on a demma, every youth that been around Keta is here. Let's find the video where Metusa say it. It's very important. You still need to bring. Let me see if I have it here. <coughs> ah, it's not here. It's okay. I was thinking that I downloaded it here. I think it should be in, the, in this other phone. Ah, uh, it's in the other phone. It's in the other phone. But nevertheless, now let who can remember mad. Our people are waking up. Uh, you know when we tell me uh, our some, I greet them. Um, I am a grand coordinator of Wakambo. I told me, baby, why the contract? Why now? I go back to them. I have many contact of coordinators of different countries. I told me, baby, why the contract? Because my two sons are now. I am one of them. I am the other side of the world. I'm going to country now. Please, we coordinators of these guys that I'm in contact with. I'm not going to go steady. And I send the grand video. I'm not going to share ideas. I'm going to get a couple of suspicions. So you are you are partnering with this guy that are that are talking and without even respecting us. Now let me show you the top of one book. I tell me what so I talk from their job to sell her. So I will not have for those people. Who are those that are going to suspend those people? From from IPOB because no mention their name, no praise either. Who are those? That means there is something wrong. 
in this people i want to fight for almost three years i want to fight in the code of conduct so me to say that go that thing i fight that injustice in the camp of chica poli do them china sa wan kita to nes lumi ke chukwo do forma os na agba anyi aisa yoba mazin nachi so me to say that go me to say that go that thing i na fight always no always no I'm not going. To, I'm not. I'm not going to mention their name. That if I mention their name, then we blackmail them and suspend them from the struggle. So who is Metusa referring to? Oh, can Metusa in Agba? I want you guys to ask. Actually, no. I want you guys to just respond. Oh, can this guy in Agba? Is he can Takano? Are they in position to express somebody in the memo? Who are those that are uh, leading the memo? Who are those? Abba Munu. Biafra is a spirit. Biafra. Biafra is a spirit. Chukwo Kika Biama will surely expose them. All of them. All of them. Won't, it will surely expose them. Let's repeat it again. The contract, wah, now, I go out to them. I have many contact of coordinators of different countries. I told me people are the contract because my two sons are now. I am upset now. I'm there, 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 I'm <laughs> so you are you are partnering with this guy that are that are talking and without even respecting us. Now let me show you the reason why it is a fraud from the source. All this thing that is going on. So I'm not just now. I want to make sure you are after we're going today. That no one with some coordinators that are in good terms with him, that they are sharing ideas. That if you start mentioning their name, they will be get they will get suspension or expel. They will blackmail them and get them suspension. So ask yourself. That means all is not well. All is not well in that camp, material and defense against us. All is not well that that camp, material and on it, on there, on the defend against anyone on our own code of conduct. Oh, well, the same material of Guadalupe today. Oh, well, we about some days ago that they, that the they make our leader court case to look like like one cocoa. But today we're going to play some videos. One of Mandy being at the court, on the people being at the court, of our, our leader Mazan You know, there's, a, there's one of his videos I'm going to you know, talk about. Maybe I have one next time. Full video. I hear you what that video or talk about him. One of you, one of my this guy, or this table. Or corner, no corner. On a boom, we are. In fact, I, I believe the only a poor. No, you have you have an issue. You have barely an issue. Boom, oh good. Another check you want you want a boom. Another check you want a boom. In one program, he will contradict himself hundred times. And we're going to play that video. Now, let's find that video where he said that. And make our little court case. So even let's find the video. Come on, let's find the video. Mm. Hold on. Oh, hold on.
Let me check if I, I download it here. Yeah. Okay, before I did not uh, the video, I can, no, I don't want to waste time, no, no. But maybe tomorrow or some other time, I, I, or the day I will make his broadcast or a uh, particular program or uh, one program on, uh, about him. I will bring that video because I have a little video here. So he was saying that no person, no one in the being at the court, case, you know, that's. That we are that we have made the, the case of our leader. Although Malanalabia, this is what he said. And I hope that people who forget it from the Biana court case of Mazna and the Kanu, Senators, Senator, as of life. They were there. Traditional ruler. We are there. Church leaders. We are there. Even at the end, at the end, the following day, we got a letter, and we got uh, we got a uh, 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 news from Nigerian media, uh, Nigerian newspapers, that the bishop asked Boale, asked Boale to release Mazna and the Kanu. But he have put this guy up, Potter. They may pull on 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 may pull now, kill you. Now, Kino, he was even mocking Mazna and Kano and us that we did not, they did not release Mazna and Kano. Let's listen to him. No? Okay. 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 Now it only made part two. Now, now I, 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 I bet earlier it was it was mocking that Onion Do was not released. Now, now I, 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 it was 
mocking us. He was mocking Biafrans that Mazda Nakano was not released. That Nahat only made pack two. He was deferring 2015 only do half court half case that when when if I was in charge, when if I when our order was out, he was deferring. He said we wanted to do the part two that we did not release Mazda Nakano. And he called this person a IPOB member. He called him an IPOB member. Such a person that makes this statement. He called him an IPOB member. Instead of him channeling his energy to the common enemy, he was channeling his energy to his own people. To his own people. Now, let's show him that also that no one let nine made the court case or this is like a case. No, no. Now let's show him Ndibian at the court case. Ndibian, let's show him. First, let's show him uh, Ugu, uh, Uguchi but just a lawyer broke the powers yeah. given to him and the attorney general in particular under section 174 one c one c of the constitution to discontinue this criminal these uh, 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 charges that have been filed against mazin and the Kano. and if you go by your section 174 c that this can be discontinued on basis of justice and public uh, interest it is in public interest we're here together as brothers we have uh, myself, Ikenga Imo Kuchini, representing that of the constituency. Uh, Honorable Obi Agocha, after me, will make uh, his comment. And leaders of the opposition political parties will also be here by Kosin and our traditional ruler. We will receive, I personally received the news of the rejection of the bell application with sadness. It was unnecessary. We lost an opportunity to commence the process of healing in our land. That bell application would have opened the door of opportunity that will have brought stability in our place and opened the door for conversation to resolve all issues that have led up to this point. And it's so painful that this is coming at a time that few uh, few weeks ago, the federal government on its own in exercise of its constitutional power discontinued the criminal, uh, the trump of criminal charges filed against uh, so we're the attorney general in exercising those powers under section 174. I'm also aware that the same federal government has allowed Son to Ibo also back home where he's with his people. So it's so painful that whenever it has to do with an Igbo man, there is different interpretations and different reasons for you to keep keeping the person in detention. So that is why we say it's so painful. And as a federal lawmaker, I'm calling on President uh, Bola Ahmed to not to allow the moment to pass him by. That what the president should do is to invoke the powers given to him and the Attorney General in particular under Section 174 C1C of the Constitution to discontinue these criminal these, uh, 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 charges that have been filed against Mazin and the Kano. And if you go by Section 174 C, that this can be discontinued on basis of justice and public uh, interest. It is in public interest and it is in the interest of justice that the federal government discontinues this trial. And it's also painful for us that this bell application was rejected. But we hope that the President uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu should discontinue uh, this trial. And I'll let my brother, uh, Honorable Biagwacha, who is representing Nandi Kana, the House of Representatives, to make his comments and thus. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, my honorable colleague. Ahamo uh, Obi Agwacha. Anamano Chitayan Di Guano. I have not, no more has sat. Take a one name, Moko, Ramon, and Chitania. Mazin Namdegan. What Igbo is allowed is the constitutional language. Uh, I can speak Igbo in the chamber of the National Assembly. But however, let me speak in English. Uh, uh, it's very sad, like my brother said, that there are two separate rules one for other Nigerians and one for the Igbo man. Niger yeah, I will bring the video, the full video of. Of the senator from Mabia State. So Metusela, I hope he saw the, the caliber of people that came to the court. So but I am like a woman. No. So now this message is for Bin Tanyako and Bola Metinibu. You can hear what the House of Left said. Discontinue this uh, discontinue this this case the same way. 
Shoulder was released. You have the power in your, in your capacity to stop this case. It's your constitutional right. You have the constitutional power to stop it. So there's no, there's no way you guys can defeat Mazina and Kano and IPOB. Because and then they put a fee marker who will look your da just like Martin Nankan said, it's a political issue. Call Martin Nankan on, on a land table. Call him on, on a land table. Talk. But if you think that he can't keep Martin Nankan for this just a dungeon, it's not possible anymore. And what is coming out? This pattern or the form, the form you people are using. We are going to use that form against you people. Oh, yeah, can you now let Oh, yeah, can't one make it another way. And I'll ask you. And my people, the man you just saw speaking is Ugo Chinele Zeimo. He also lead law. He also in Imo State as uh, in the state Imo. Imo, Imo State, in the house of the uh, thing. Do you see him talking about the bail condition? Why didn't he say no, that we stand on a PCO decision? Because he knows the game. He knows the game. But this one's Chica Paul, the dozier Muslim lawyer. In case one day for another, he's for a lawyer now, they talk about the bail about the bell that the bell should be granted because all my the game those who want to play on Mazna and Kano Nigeria government can forget about the Nigeria constitution and do whatever they, they want to do how about you a UN you a UN working group the judgment did they obey it did they obey the UN working group judgment on Mazna and Kano they did not obey it. They use the, they have agents all over the world. Don't forget that Brit British is on their back, telling them what to do. But Fem told us that the Catalan line has moved into UN to lobby them, not to talk about it anymore. And today, where is it? It was under the carpet. And you want Mazna and Ken to see the men in this dungeon. You're standing on a court decision. Come down. Now they are looking for you. Come down, come down to BFL land, come down. Oh, yeah, Barata, because Mazna and Kano went to Africa and he said he's coming. And not today, on, on a day, and he said he will lead from the front today. On a lead from the front, he's fighting. So, you that are standing on our appeal court decision, you and Isaiah Yoba, oh, yeah, you, you guys should come down. I wouldn't change the Mazna and Kano. Now let's bring the uh, the video about uh, uh, the video from Obiocha. What he said. And they can add the House of Representatives to make his comment and go. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, my honorable colleague. Uh, I am Obi Agocha. I am an Ochitanian, the Guano. My head not, no, my head south. Take a one name, Moko, Romo, and an Ochitania. Mazin Namdekan. What Ibo is allowed is the constitutional language. Uh, I can speak Ibo in the chamber of the National you Assembly. But however, let me speak in English. Uh, it's very sad, like my brother said, that there are two separate rules, one for other Nigerians and one for the Igbo man. Nigeria appears to still be uh, in distrust and uncomfortable with the Igbo man. And all the Igbo man wants is, you know, full development and 
aspirational goals for all persons, regardless of you know, ethnicity, religion, or gender. We are very saddened about today, like my brother said, this is a great, a unique opportunity that has been missed, that would have been the basis for peace and reconciliation in the Southeast. All the agitations that are happening in the Southeast, all the crime and criminality, banditry, kidnapping that are happening in the Southeast is because of the continued detention of Mazen Namdekara. A lot of people are using his name to commit all these crimes and criminality. The peace in the Southeast or peace in Nigeria cannot go anywhere without the unconditional release of Mazi Namdekaro. Uh, the government cannot miss this opportunity, but we are very optimistic that by the next hearing, as the judge said, that one, he will be granted bail. He hasn't committed any crime in this country that will warrant, continue to warrant his uh, illegal detention. So we are calling on the, uh, the government of uh, President Ahmed Tinubu to do the right thing and not be held hostage like the former President Buhari did because of his own personal bias against the Igbos and against Mazen Namdekano. So I'm calling on all Igbos, wherever they are, to remain calm. This man will walk away free one day to the glory of God. Thank you. Um, well, um, like, uh, so when I say that, that the Diego will be good, Mazi. Now that the the caliber of men, Igbo politicians be an, I follow traditionals and church leaders be an. So, and remember, these are the people China and world is fighting, telling saying that they want to become relevant with our leader, our leader court case. But I thank this man. As moon then kunuji, when they change the corner. Then kunuji, when they change the corner. Mazin Nankan will be a free man. And we also want, in the net court case, actually for more of you people, senators from, from Ebony State, senators from Enugu, uh, uh, from Enugu, senators from Anampara, from Abia, from Imo, from Delta. We want to see senators from there. Even from Oedo, Bayasa, South South, we want to see the senators from there. Come and make sure Mazin Nankan is free because Mazin Nankan understand the game of the Fulanese. He's the only man you guys can stay, can queue in the back and demand whatever you guys wanted in Nigeria. He's the only man. Now let's let's move to to what happened in the courts. What our leader said about the criminal. Because let's look into it. Into it. Then we have to play some video again. To go and ask them, ask government of Nigeria, what happened to traceable felony? Where are those charges today? From 2015. They have just disappeared because they have no evidence against me. So, 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 that's what I said. said no big can try this rubbish. And they know it very well. They know it very well. And I suspect that some people in government are complicit. Yes. They are making money with this security. That's correct. They are making money with it. They know now the canoe is outside. In two minutes, this nonsense will stop. Who is the idiot? Who is the bagger? That will, that will speak when I'm talking. Who, who is the fool? Who is the idiot? I ask. 
that I give an order in the east and any idiot to counter it. Who is the who is the bastard? I'm asking you. Nobody can. I'm on the canon. Who is the idiot? Rubbish. No, no, don't. Mm -hmm. Can I go to No, man. No. What is it? No, it's okay. Rubbish. No, no, don't. Can I go to No, man. Who is the idiot? Rubbish. No, no, don't. Can I go to No, man. No. What is it? No, it's okay. I'm on the canon. Who is the idiot? Robin, no, no, don't. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because a lot of people did not get this point. They want Mazda to pronounce the name of Simon Epa when our leader was addressing the press, the pressman. And Mazda can say rubbish. You don't need to mention his name. He has addressed those. He addressed and this this is speech did not only go for Simon Epa. The, is this statement did not only come to the uh, 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 tribune or channel to Simon Epa. It also channel to China Samakita. It also channel to Chika Poli Dozim. These are the people that disobey Mazna and Kano, others, and also Simon Eber. We know. So, for this, the chat card media worms that are lanting, singing the name of Simon Eber. No? Like I said before, when Law Law, our own Law came on Lady Biafra and said that. No one want to now pursue the daily flower, anya. No one want to pour and look for the flower. All you guys channel the energy to Simon Eba. I told you no. That that word, that step, that that a dramatic expression means that now the disobedience of our leader's instruction. And today, people are asking why Ami should declare. Chica Poli does them wanted. Why I mean should declare Chica Poli does them wanted? They forgot that Chica Poli, Chica Poli does them said that he will take responsibility of the outcome of the city at home on Monday, on Monday goes down, August 9. Chica Poli does them say that. And today, tell me what lead to this crime in southeast it was from that monday ghost town that only had to ask him only had to ask him to to suspend today the new government so i've i've got uh, 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 i've caught up the videos and everything and they say oh so this guy is the one and the, the crime he wanted. And the member, Chica Poli Dozem, said that he will take the responsibility. Now, Chica Poli Dozem all said to go. He said he will take the responsibility. Okay. Face saver now. Write a letter to them. Tell them why did they the crime he wanted. Why? Ask them why. Or you go to Nigeria and ask them why. But before then, let me play a video of you. What you said. Because in my program, where I said things, I bring evidence. Before then, let me bring a video of you. What you said about Monday Ghost Time, August 9, 2021. Before you let me let me play the video for you. It's very important. I want you all to, to listen. Finally said we should suspend the seat at home. And I and I asked and I asked our people, those that I had discussion with, I said, but what is the reason? Did I give any reason why we should suspend it? 
and they, they said he didn't give a reason. And I asked them, but you tell me what reason should we, would I give the upfront why I am suspending this, this seat at home when our demands has not been met? That was my question. I asked those both in DOS and those who, who were not in DOS that, that I had the opportunity to speak with. Indeed, what they did the news. I asked them, what, what will be the, the reason I have to give? And um, um, so, I, well, with that, uh, sorry, I, I think I, I'm trying to mix a little thing here, but the, the lawyers have not come back to us now. Now, this is before the night, the first day, the first day of it. So when I was asking them, why, what is the reason they want us to suspend this thing? And they, they told me uh, that we should use um, NACO as an, as an excuse. I mean, we should use NACO because of the exam that the people uh, are trying to um, to hold, and I, I, I said that NACO doesn't really, um, it's not, it's not the strongest excuse to give uh, their friends why they will, um, why we should stop the seat at home. And I will be very, very frank, me, and I will take the responsibility. I haven't said it on air before because it's not, I don't come on air to, and I said, because there is no reason from our leader that we should stop this seat at home that we are going to go ahead with the seat at home. And then we went ahead with the first seat at home. After we did the first seat at home, and it was a huge success, unbelievably successful. Then, after that same Monday, that same Monday after the seat at home, the lawyers had a visit again to Oyendu, and they now came back and said that Oyendu said we must suspend that seat at home. So that message came now the second time, and I said, okay, if we're going to insist, after the evidence we have provided that this thing was successful and that our people were willing to do it, if you insist, I will suspend it. And I suspended it. That instruction came from Onyendu. And anybody who tells you otherwise is lying. And that's how I will answer that question for you. Um, All right. Now, So my people, when I'm looking, when I'm looking at Boku that now he will take the responsibility of it. Your disobedience of Mars and can so if we over it there to now. And my being when I forget one single disobedience of Mars and can you know for the result here today. This is chat card media worms. But, but, but they will not tell you guys the truth. But if you come in my program, one day you have to come and you have a chance to come in and ask me, say, I will bring you in. On a the reason why. I've heard you a bad year. Your disobedience of Mazin Nanikan. And they use it to Black Mekan Takano. No, 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 so for those of you that are asking, why did Tika put the name in that list? And you forgot to tell yourself the truth that, that the mother of the problem I when I start is the mother caused all those things with this is at home. That only do ask him to suspend. No. Because all who that now not suspended there, someone has not any power to put on the seat at home. And people, and people will obey. It was as a result of noting that money seat at home. People obey. Someone has now a jacket. And don't forget, even when it was cancelled, someone has not abide by the rule. Say yes. It was nearly of Facebook that said that that only in the mass will not stop what is working, what is good. 
that what is working, the onion will not stop it. So I'm not picking test again. A use here, yeah, where I jack, yeah, because after that, people obey the money sit at home, and people want that money sit at home to go. So I'm not I jack it. That's what leads to a lot of criminality in our land today. But they will not tell you the truth. Instead of that, they will be blackmail as can't can blackmail a lawyer in Macau. Blackmail Madam Nenyanya. But I'm on about the truth. So check upon the dossier. You say we take responsibility. Now what about what for that go? Load them to solve the problem or go to Nigeria and answer the, the problem. Go. But think upon that. I got one. I can have a logo for a car. I got one. I got one. I can have a logo for a car. I got one. But that might be the key. That you will take responsibility of it today, or bago, just because of the disobedience of Mazina and the Kano. Just because of the disobedience of Mazina and the Kano. Only do bago suspend this it at home. You will are asking for a, for a reason. Only do ye only do ye nyegu before you suspend it. And that's why man can do good at that. No one on our side. Who are you? Who, who is that bastard that will challenge his authority? Knowing your Lord in, in knowing your Lord that in Southeast, somebody can't tire. Who is that bastard? That means you are that bastard, Chica Poly. You are the bastard. China Saman Kita, you are the bastard. Man, man, I can I want to the Kuma here. Saman Eva, you are the bastard. Man, can the Kuma here. Three of you guys, you are you guys are the bastards. But you guys are the one that disobeyed Mazna and Kano. Mazna and Kano personally wrote a letter to Simon Epa asking him what to do. The least Simon Epa will do is that he come out and say no. Uh, he said it before that he will not take order from anybody in dungeon. But he will take order when they ask you to go and take slot for little Biafra. He will take that order. So for those of you who think that Mars Nankan is only referring to Simon Epa, it's a lie. It's a lie. And what is referring to those that disappointed him, those that disobeyed his order. And who are those who are those people? Chica Pole Dosem, China Samuelu, Simon Epa. China Samuel even asked Mars Nankan to come out and do it by force. When Mazda can say that they should add that bridge to CAFO, to DOS, and another Devlin father, she has a woman say it on radio that they, they are not going to do it, that only you should come out and do it by himself. Those are the people that disobeyed Mazda can order. This is the fact. Can we so good in Chica Polly them refuse to suspend the money goes down. That is the fact. Ezo Kutineke. Where is the even the cool wasi? Come up. Open in our kino. I use this little platform. Tio no Timbodombo. Go on the truth. So for those people that do that thing that our leader will mention Simon Eva. No, not there. For what? Why must Mazda can mention Simon Epanis? For what? And you also hear from Anwafia, APC agent. APC agent, Chibuzegwatu, telling you, uh, you know that, uh, yes, yes, the Mazda can not supposed to mention his name. After can the bomb could that for time. They are watching my program. They say, I know Mazda is not supposed to mention his name. But Somebody attach his name to, to himself. And so what? Okay, I want you guys to listen to him.
Yeah, Nancy. Man, the cattle will rot in Ninja in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. He haven't seen anything yet. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And those supporting him and will also team. suffer APC again. Now, and do you know what the argument is? The argument is what autopilot people are now saying online. If Mazen Nandekan is against what Simon is doing, why is it that Mazen Nandekan who did not mention the name of my Simon? Eber? I was not even expecting the truth is this. Mazen Nandekan will question the Yukube Maka Simon at all. But he thought you were cheap. In the truth is this. Mazenan the cano question do you be Macassimon at all? But if for the way cheap and the cano question do you be Macassimon at all? But if for the way cheap and the cano question do you be Macassimon at all? But if for the way cheap as you could, but because Simon is attaching himself to him, Simon is attaching himself. And we can, when you ask Mazenan. The canon, he would tell you what concerns him and if a Simon name which is fair enough. But the thing is, this person keep attaching himself to you. And a lawyer Jimako Epugo Nanezi Jerios is yes, Simon. And actually, you put up with Simon. Nkawa is a, a APC SIPOB member, APC member member in IPOB. Chibu Zeguatu. But I know for him. That was was it was the first person that come out and start planting. I took a watch to my program two days ago. Since BNEC. Now what did they suppose the invention here? Yeah? But no man can stand on the mere attach. Then what concern on the mere attach? What concerns must the canon? To pronounce somebody disobey, yeah? someone someone that disobeyed him, someone that said that he's taking responsibility of what he's doing, someone that said that he will not take any order from some, anybody from DSS, someone that formed his own movement already, someone that that become prime minister. What do you want, man, to mention his name? Simon never have, have his own way, uh, uh, have his own movement. But you don't want to mention his name. It's irrelevant to Mazen and the canon. And I ask again, why haven't federal government castigate or condemn Simon Eber activities? I'm quite can nobody have answered me and give answer to this my question. Why haven't federal government condemned? Some activities. Oh no, when someone with this answer, please write it here. Send it to me. Write it in the comment section. Send it to me. Why haven't? Then you want Holomadike, our supreme leader, to mention someone else's name. It's irrelevant. It's irrelevant. Not. Uh, it's irrelevant. You can see. When Mazna Khan is speaking, one there go one there again to say, but with the lawyer first. This is some someone not in this dungeon for three years. He's still the man who he is. Also, I am not the canoe. He all in only two minutes. Everything here, the video, and that is fat. That's fact of life. If Mazna can is outside, now outside, who are you? On your cable. A cyber I go, I get better. On your cable. Oh, now on your do now outside. On your catching now some more Louis Bouyne, which is not. I'll send the question to Mazna and the canon. That if Mazna can, if Mazna can come out, there will be a big problem. That's what Tina Samuel said. He disobeyed Mazda can order. That is right. That is part of life. I did the video. 
Chief Kapolo does them refuse every single instruction of Mazina and Kano. Every single instruction from 20 to 20 up to date. He refused every single instruction. Simon Hepa make room here too. So don't don't only call Simon Hepa. Also call these, these two people. They are the one too. They are also com contributed. They also commit the same crime. Simon Hepa, Simon Hepa co committee. So in a in a actually we also cook more than this. This is my zest, my zest. Okay, we go in soon. Now, as I jump on Jawa, on Jawa, Benjamin the mad bug. Now, but all we are now, or what? Or what? Now, Kasigeti, I'm a lawyer, my co. Or send the nasliyas, send the nasliyas, send the nasliyas, send the jaf, mas mas nasliyas. Is Kasigeti a lawyer, my co? Indirectly. And all those people now cut now black men alloy alloy Jamaica. Benjamin Madbugo all, always shared their program. And today he was trying to force himself to alloy Jamaica. And wise council, I want you to take notes because I will also message you. Be very careful about Madbugo. You know his activities. No matter. What is what is saying now? Uh, how close you want? Uh, how how uh, uh, how you want to bring yourself to to your side? To your side, be very careful. Be very careful. You you must understand that you are not in the same place with him. You are not in the same place with him. Oh, would oh your man oh your man na oh your man na 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 die you with your enemy. It's also enemy. It's also your enemy. Whoever is dancing with your enemy, eating with your enemy, not eating with your enemy. Whatever the enemy could about you, or what put you on na Facebook here, na share here, na promote here, or any other person. Be very careful. Now let's bring a video. Where this guy was forcing himself to allow it, Marco. Mandela is here, Mandela Umobo, uh, Barista uh, uh, Patrick Agassi is here. The other barristers have proceeded to where we are going to have a meeting. It's an A team. We worked very hard day and night to prepare for today's proceedings. I can tell you that all of us are disappointed. We were disappointed in that very court. And it's coming to a point where we are going to be disappointed in the entire judiciary. See, the judiciary is the arbiter in the society. When people are quarreling, before they come to blows, or even after they've come to blows, they go to judiciary for salutary measures. When judiciary loses its own salt, it's calling for anarchy. Namdekan is being detained under terrible conditions. Conditions that include deteriorating ill health. He has a worsening heart condition. He undressed, he stopped today in court. He has two large boils in his armpit. That shows an extreme autoimmune reaction that requires special medical intervention that is not available at the DSS. A DSS cell is nothing but a glorified police cell. So it's our case that trial of Mazen Namdekam cannot proceed without either giving him bail or transferring him out of that dungeon the Supreme court calls it equality of arms if you're accusing someone of committing a crime a heinous crime for that matter he don't tie his hands behind his back because your hands are not tied behind your back you leave his hands free to defend himself one blow to one blow pound for pound arm for arm unless it's a trial by ordeal so the denial of bail today is a travesty of justice. We are going to the Colorado bail. 
and hopefully we are going to overturn it. And by 17th April, next month, God willing, we shall have three applications, fresh applications, before the court to consider that will bring the necessary conditions for trial to ensue. The government has indicated that it is interested in accelerated trial. We too, we are interested in more than accelerated trial because we are impatient to clear our client's name. He did no wrong. From 2015, which is almost a decade ago, treasonable felony, defending the president, importation of radio equipment. Now, none of those is on the charge sheet anymore. They are charging him for terrorism and membership of a proscribed organization. So this thing has turned to a fishing expedition. Arrest the man, hold him, and look for any offense to charge him. They don't have any scintilla of evidence to charge him if they recall. But that trial must be done must be conducted under an atmosphere of equality of arms, otherwise known as fair hearing. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, wise counsel. Thank you, wise counsel. Like I said before, be very careful with Benjamin and Madhubugu because it's not your friend. Job because they have realized that they have failed, that Mazinan can have moved, have moved away from them. Even in court, they refuse to let him enter in court. That person that is among we had ago. So if they have succeeded, would Benjamin Madhubu go come, come close to you? What's counsel? I'm asking you. So be very careful, please, with him. Now, dear friends, like I said before, we move now. the You can see what Aloy Marco said. That the, that the trial of Mazna can cannot continue unless they grant the bail application. Everybody will a a liberty to stand trial. Why there's no mugilu? All people that now we do not go this court, and we say we stand on the trial of. Uh, 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 we stand on the judgment of Supreme Court. Federal so government will put Mazda and Kenneth for there for impartiality now. They will dump him in the desert dungeon. It will, that means they have won the battle. But now, where the Marco have pushed them to the wall, and the wall is listing that granting the bear, granting I wanted a bear is is right, or send him in house arrest. Or in, or in prison, where he will do what? He will have adequate facilities to stand for his fire. That is his fundamental human rights. So my people, we will call it a day. I will have to wind down. Now I say mama, eh? next month and, and again don't be surprised before that next month before that next month don't be surprised maybe before that next month I, I, I need good news or that next month that date good news there because there's a lot of pressure on Nigeria government So, thirty capole dosiem that the responsibility is said that he will take. No, you can not mean napolea napolea today. Napolea. Naga kona waga pa. I cannot buy a wakoli ufaka. But he can pass message or deliver letter. Why he 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 declare I wanted. Give me call me. Then I can't walk away there. But I'm I will go me now. Monday goes down. The disobedience of Mars in the canon. Because when you disobey Mars in the canon, there is always a consequences, if you don't know. When you disobey Mars in the canon, there is always the consequences when you disobey Mars in the canon. Today they are seeing it. That's some quadrilateral number. 
onya fota taka afu echi ndo ndo nka nka please share this program and let it go viral maze zumez and make it noon and masin de wonu eh bye bye now oh.